Hello everyone, this is Bruce from Kraken Gypsies. And today we'll be trying out Starlight Portal uh, while playing Kane. Uh, we aren't one star, we're only level two. So far we've only done Timo's mission. And we're going to see if we can do this on our first try. Or if there's any difficulties. The global power of this actually benefits us because it decreases the cost of our target cards. So we'll see how things go. So immediately, we're going to go for Afterlife Forbidden, and that's going to give us some more sustain, in my opinion, um, because we'll get one of our cards back whenever they die, so we can play more aggressive. As you can see, we have absolutely no powers, because we are level 2, and he is 0 star. So round 1, we get our Hextech Observatory, we're going to drop down the Faded Seeker, I will die and we're going to attack ready. for a whopping one damage. Let's okay, now work. we're going to drop the Darkened Lodestone onto the Saga Seeker, and we yeah. are going to block with it. Together, stranger. And now we're going to use the Startle Stomper. And we'll end the round there. We're going to attack with both. Just like this. We'll pass there. They're going to be, be using Jolt here. Uh, we'll use the Furious Wielder and we'll strike the Forge Chief. Now we'll drop down the Range Knight, Ranger Knight Defector. It's an awesome day for progress. She kicks, huh? And now we'll use the Defector to block since that's tough. Now we'll drop down Kane. They will fear my name and grovel before mine. I don't know what's going on here. No. Oh. Alright, so now we're going to attack with our scout. This forces the block, or, or they give it to us for free. That works too. I'm cool with free wins. You see, Darkin. Okay, so we're going to go for the Noxian Defector. That was one of the easier choices <laughs> I've had to make. And now we go into the support champion. Um, Tark would be pretty nice. Yeah, I'm going to go with Tark. Alright, so we are going to go for J... Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name. Okay. This is a pretty good hand. We're going to keep it. Alright, so we're immediately going to drop down the Star Wars Stomper. And we're going to attack. And that will end the round there. Okay, here we are going to use Suit Up. And now the Darkened Lodestone. Do we need to use suit up? No. But uh, I, don't, I didn't think we had anything else to use, so it was okay. Uh, we are going to make that elusive real quick and drop down our dragon. It's 
fight tomorrow, but in triplicate. We're actually going to attack with both here and try to lure the practical perfectionist out. They decide not to block, which is okay. We're going to use Furious Wielder, and we're going to get rid of her real quick. And we're going to pass. I got the goods. And we'll pass again, which will end the round. Now we are going to drop down the Ranger Knight Defector, followed by the Saga A Seeker. Time of innovation. Come out from your shadows, demon. Followed by Suit Up. On to the Saga Seeker. And now we'll use our scout to attack first. I didn't draw out any blocks, so another free win. <laughs> so far, so good. I don't know why the uh, AI is playing so silly. Alright, now we have the item chest. Having studded leather, leather on equipment's interesting. We're going to reroll that, though. And we'll go for a tough on the Startled Stomper. Now we're up against the Amateur Aeronaut. Um, these are like the same battles from going up against Ezreal, I think. So, they have the same powers. We are going to get rid of one of the Noxian Defender, or sorry, Noxian Defectors. And we'll keep our hand. If we had, um... If we had an extra star this turn, it'd be pretty cool, but unfortunately we don't, so. We're going to drop down the Star Stomper because it's the best for it being a one cost. And we're going to attack with it as well. Since it has tough, um, if it blocked, it'd, it'd just be free. This turn, we are going to drop down the Saga Seeker, I will die when I as well ready. as the Lodestone, and we are going to use it on the Saga Seeker. Thus, he's now capable of blocking, and they both are. This time around, we'll be dropping down Tarek. I bring clarity. And we're going to use it on the Saga Seeker, and we're going to have the attack Never pattern submit. be this. Is this the face of fear? This way everyone has it tough. And we have extra damage on the board as well. From the Darkened Lodestone that's equipped on the Saga Seeker. Can't fly if you don't try. Okay, so here we're gonna drop the mountains. You, you're Tarek, the protector. I don't know how to pronounce uh, and good luck on your journey. The other part of it. Sojourners, something like that. Uh, here we're gonna drop down Kane. They will fear my name and grovel before mine. Uh, we are forced to resolve. We don't have any spells here. That's okay. Um, this is our attack turn. We're going to huh. all right. We're going to drop Stay the focused. Mountain Sojourners down first. And then we're going to do that. Oops, and then we're going to use Kane to challenge. Be still. Not the amateur aeronaut itself, but the scrap scuttler here. Shh. Brace yourselves. I was always mortal. Is this the face of fear? And there we go. We beat this as well. I think that was the best way of doing that attack. These gems aren't just for show. And now we have a choice to make here. 
after we select our reward. Between our rewards, I'll take the Shadow Blade Fanatic here. Alright, so we either have the Scribe of Sorrows or a shop. We have 460 gold. I'm going to go for the shop before Talia. So, there really isn't all that much that I want from this. Um, we can go with Duelist, but it's it's not the best option. Like, all of these kind of suck in general. Um, we'll go for Guiding Touch. I think that's okay, and go for Duelist, I suppose. And I guess we'll reroll this. I mean, there's a chance that we don't beat Talia, of course. Um, so we want to make sure we do things right. I don't know what Forge means. Okay. Alright, yeah, we're going to go for Whimsy. That's a really strong spell. And now we're going to go for Weaponsmith's Apprentice. And we're going to buy more of both of them. And we pretty much used all of our gold here. Uh, we're going to heal to full health. And now we are ready to take on Talia. Every tapestry begins with a single stitch. So her round start is teen power. Uh, she summons a landmark from their region that costs two or less. Okay, so off of this, I actually really like this hand. This is pretty balanced for us. We're going to leave it at that. Alright, their first landmark is the Buried Armory. That's kind of disturbing if you ask me, like the image behind it. Um, but it will give them Treasures of the Sands. So, that's a pain in the ass to deal with. We are going to drop down the Startled Stomper. And we're going to go into an attack. Uh, since we don't have enough mana for Tarak just yet, we're going to go for the si Saga Seeker despite them eating the Rolling Sands here. Come out from your shadows, demon! And we... I don't think we should use the Weaponsmith's Apprentice here, but since it's their attack turn, they don't have any mana, it's okay. Kindle picked like me! That's why Smith. It's not the worst. And now we can either drop Tark or the Wounded White Flame. Tark has more damage here. I'm ready to shine. Oh, but let me have okay. a look here. So Dazzling. To death I go. We're going to use Tark to challenge. Never um, submit. We wasted its support. But it, his support wouldn't matter either way because we challenged his high scout. So I, I guess it's not the worst thing ever. It doesn't really matter. Are you afraid of anything, Kadira? You're navel gazing because it never ends. <laughs> okay, so we have to be careful here. Um, things are getting a lot more uh, difficult, I suppose. We're going to be used as, using the lodestone immediately. Onto the Saga Seeker, I believe. Here, let me see that. And now we'll be dropping down the White Flame. They decided not to attack us, which is beneficial to us. And now we'll drop down Kane as well. You are the tool. I am the weapon. Last is a feeble mind. Onward, everybody! The horizon calls. They do drop down Talia here. You get to see her level up animation. Have you ever slept in the same place? Fortunately for us, We're it's our attack Saipa. turn. This is our way. So it's not the end of the world. Serve me, Rost. Never. Be still. Yeah, we're gonna attack like that. Onwards. To protect. We all. are going to use Tark stuff on that one, Warrior? but we are on, on the other. Calls. And I think we'll attack like this. I was always mortal! Unyielding. If only you were made of rock. Um, 
Overall, not bad. We talked two and lost two. It is their attack turn, though. They have some strong units out there. Um, <laughs> we'll drop down the Noxian defector first. Once again, servants to no master. I was actually going to use the Dark and Halberd, but I realized that it's not going to help us immediately here. Beware falling rocks. Ooh, and they challenged Kane there too. Huh. Well, there isn't much we can do there. Let me focus. We can block the sand soldier. Um, we lose Kane regardless. I failed you, said. But now we can use the Darkened Scythe on anyone and uh you know what i'm going to use it on tark and i guess i will end the round there i wasn't sure whether or not i wanted to use the dark and halberd um we're going to use momentous choice we're going to give an ally plus one attack and we are going to choose tark for this that levels up Tark. There is nowhere left to go but up. Okay. So now the supported ally can't take damage or die. We're going to use a Saga Seeker. I am ready. And we are going to do things just like that. Noxus took everything. And we are almost going to commit to that attack. But first, we want to... Pull in Talia, and now we'll commit to it. Never submit. Is this the face of fear? All right, so where to go? Where to go? We win here no matter what. They decided not to block the Saga Seeker, which is invulnerable to damage. So. I think it was pretty clever how we played that. That went pretty well. These gems aren't just for show. We have more rewards here. Um, we could just give Kane Barrier, so he blocks the first strike. Um, oh, I mean, what that would do is it means that he can block things that deal more than two damage on his first turn. And it would still consider him as striking, so that would work. Or we can do speed reps and give him quick, give him quick attack, which is beneficial to us. Uh, we're going to go for quick draw here, and we are going to go into the intrepid mariner. Um, it's not as fun or as easy as a mirror mage, in my opinion. But I want the champion item chest to see how strong I can make him. Okay, so we will be replacing the Noxian Defector here, as well as Whimsy, as well as the Dark and Halberd, as well as the Furious Wielder. We do not want any of these, unfortunately. My past flashes! Ah! We'll be dropping down the Startled Stomper, as well as the Saga Seeker. I will die when I they decided ready. to end the round because, you know, if they attacked, they'd just be wasting their card. Uh, there really isn't much that we could do here. Um, I guess we could use Momentous Choice to give the Saga Seeker a bit more damage. And then we could use Whimsy on the Fallen Feline. And we'll attack with both. Onwards! They drop down the namesake, which is okay. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, I guess... I don't know if I actually want to use that or not. I, I think we're just going to toss it. Um, we'll definitely be using the Startled Stomper here. I want to use the Shadow Blade Fanatic, but, you know, with me doing what I did last turn, um, it didn't really help us any. But, on the bright side, we're able to keep Saga Seeker, uh, buffed up. Okay, so this is kind of forcing us to do this then. The child is gone. The butcher remains. Welcome to my home. We're gonna have to use the Dark and Albert here, and we are going to have to get rid of one of our units. Hold on. Yep. I don't know which one's which. Okay, so it kills the first target, buffs the second. Okay. That's not bad, I guess. To death um, I go. So, this card's going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. We should probably use it to challenge something that's worthwhile. Which, in my opinion, would be that. And then with this card, it would be... Actually, it'd be the other one. Yeah. Taste I would rather block vengeance. here. Like, block their units. My atonement. Have their units block. Then deal with the intrepid marina card itself giving uh, an ally elusive uh, there's another one we'll drop down bastion here and we'll use it on the noxian defender defector see you soon we'll brothers. pass never change hmm. Thorn. they decided to attack here which is kind of strange in my opinion but okay Oh, okay. They used the Hexite Crystal. Um. Is this the face of fear? I kind of wasn't thinking there. I should have blocked. On the bright side, we do get the. I'll get us to the peak, no matter what. Mount Sojourners. Um. Unfortunately, I suppose Keep it doesn't roll that much to have I at this point. Ready. That's okay. This is all I have left. Um, we are... Right. We can only challenge with those two. Huh. Uh, we'll challenge that then. We'll challenge that. And... We'll let the Practical Perfections decide. Oh, I'm gonna clone ya! We, om we almost beat her. That turn. They have four Nexus Elf left. Look ahead, not behind. So they do have two elusive units here. We're going to use this. Otherwise, we're going to lose it. Um, and we are going to get rid of... I need to double check this real quick. I don't know how many cards they have for this. Oh, okay. Never mind, that wouldn't matter then. Hm, neither of them would. Okay, so... I'm just going to get rid of that one real quick. No. Yeah, they both no, attack no. for three. No. <coughs> we finally get Kane. The child is gone. The killer remains. We're only what Noxus might. We're gonna attack with everyone here. Just Stay like that. Focus. We are going to challenge. Yeah, we'll we'll challenge the bubble fish. Everyone okay? Um they don't have enough units to block everything, so in hindsight, didn't matter. My legacy. Is built on a foundation of death. Now we get our rewards from defeating them. Um, that's really good for us, in my opinion. And now we'll go into the champion item chest. And we will go for overwhelm on Kane. 
believe. Oh, Rost has Overwhelm, so we're not going to go for that then. We'll go for Hardy Rations. And now we'll go into the store. Without, like, deeply looking through this, um, there isn't all that much I'm interested in. I want to see how many slow spells I have before I decide on taking that. Um, equipment's not considered a slow spell, I don't believe. Yeah, we effectively don't have any slow spells in this deck. So, slow but steady is worthless. Unless I'm missing something. Yeah. Yeah, so there's no point on us getting slow but steady. Um, and after this, we're either against this or that. Alright. So... I think um, 8 mana for Unyielding Spirit kind of messes with us, because if we don't, I don't know, like for me, um, it takes us a while to get to 8 mana, albeit we can get this on the same turn as, as uh, we get 5 mana, so like, that'd be the turn wherever we'd want to play Kane, which kind of gets in the way of things. Rockfall Path is pretty good, um, I don't know if I necessarily want to do that though. Yeah, there really isn't much here that I want. I guess I'll go through Rockfall Path. I don't plan on buying more than one copy, because I don't need more than one copy. And we'll go for the S2 Academic here. Its power helps us if it benefits both of us. If it just benefits her, then I take that back completely. Yeah, it just benefits her. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I was hoping to utilize that. Um, we'll replace those two cards in our hand. We're going to keep Kane, and unfortunately we get another Kane. I've brought my books. We oh, will right. drop down the Saga Seeker. I will die when I am ready. Don't worry, I've read all about. Now this. we'll drop down the Dark and Lodestone for the Saga Seeker. It is their attack turn, though. That's something we have to be aware of. Um, they decided to end the round, not take on the Saga Seeker. Which is beneficial towards us. Uh, we are going to use Momentous Choice. And we are going to double buff the Saga Seeker. And we are going to attack to with them as well. I go. Now they chose to block, place. which is okay. The Saga Seeker takes two damage. My writing... <laughs> now we're going to drop down the Rockfall Path. That's the only one that we have, so we have to make sure we're doing things in the preferred option. I don't know. Uh, we will be using the Saga Seeker to block like that. And we'll commit to that. We're going to do something a little, a little fun here. We're going to drop down Tark this turn and drop down Bastion next turn. The Rockfall Path gets rid of their 3-1 unit, too. Here, we're going to be using Bastion, and we'll be using on the Saga Seeker. The fight never ends. This kind of double buffs them. Dazzling. Um, since they're not blocking anything, Luke there's Shark. no reason for Tark to give the Saga Seeker mortal. tough. We've also already used this Faded, so we're going to use the Darken Lodestone to buff Tark. Hope that's all right. That's a lot to say, so... Uh, we keep getting dark and halberds, and they've also used progress day. Tough place. It kind of sucks, but people. it is what it is. We now the have Kane though. Is gone. The killer remains. Just as I hypothesized. Ooh. Ooh. this is rough. Um, yeah, we'll use Tark to block that. No further. <laughs> We're forced to go up against the Nexus Strike on the Sting Officer coming. though. After them? After them! Alright. We'll drop down the Mountain Sojourners. 
You're Tarek, the protector. Climb well, and good luck on your journey. Uh, we'll use Kane's Shadow Step, I suppose. And we'll use that to attack the Sting Officer. Find her. And now we'll attack again. Yep. I am ready. Except we're gonna use Stay focused. To do things like I that go. instead. And we'll be challenging. Hush. Just like that. Yep. And we'll be able to Hold tight. win off of this attack unless they have some Is spell. This the face of fear? Oh, and they do. It doesn't matter though either way. The rage, let it loose. For Path of Champions, the advice I can give with using Kane is pretty much always go Rost. Victory is a thing of beauty. If you have low Nexus health. Um, Frost is pretty invaluable, both to, like, the sustain of both your Nexus and the unit itself. So, it's, it's almost built for Path of Champions. Uh, we'll go for the Darkened Lodestone having regeneration. I haven't been using the Darkened Halberd. It is an E card, don't get me wrong. Um... I think it would be more beneficial later on. We'll go for the Avarosian Sentry that has... Oh, okay, maybe not. We're, go we're gonna go for Fixer Upper. Uh, we don't have enough for the Avarosian Sentry that has Shadow Totem. The reason why that appealed to me is because with the Ephemeral, I'll get the free draw. That's it. Uh, we have the Healer Node. We are gonna be cutting it close on taking on Sejuani. We have 13 health. Um, their power Just doesn't seem to be anything crazy though, strength. so we'll see how that goes. This is a pretty solid hand. Um, we'll replace those two cards. I think this is even more of a solid hand. Like this. So, Rockfall Path. I don't want to waste it. Um, I'll drop down Saga Seeker for turn one. Peace is a trail painted with blood. And since we don't have a weapon. There's no point in me using momentous choice. I hope they drop down a card for us to use Rockfall Path. Otherwise, like I said, we'll just be wasting it. Uh, we'll be using Saga Seeker Attack for four. There, you know that figures. The I'll one thing that has last breath, they drop. <laughs> <coughs> it's obliterated though, so you know maybe Nothing maybe its last breath effect didn't actually work. Look at what you made me, Noxus. We will pass. As will they, fortunately. Alright. So, we don't have... Okay, well this is our Dark and Lodestone, never mind. Um, we'll be using Dark and Lodestone on the Saga Seeker, of course. That means we can't drop the Sojourners. Um, hmm. Well, we're going to do this real quick. We're going to do things a little, a little interesting here, I feel. Uh, we'll get rid of... Actually, since it's my defensive turn... Or, sorry, my attack turn... Um, I guess we'll get rid of the sentry. It'll let them draw one, but... I think that's more beneficial to us. We were and we will be still using both to attack to here. Death. I was always mortal! Taste my vengeance! Um, the Saga Seeker has regeneration from our Darkened Lodestone. So it's taking damage doesn't matter, and we got the damage buff for the Noxian Defector, nonetheless. 
The storm approaches. Okay, we drop Kane. The child is gone. The killer remains. And now we drop the sorrow no, stomper. Noxus made us. And now we end the round. All right, we are going to attack. Um, I have to kind of like think about how I want to do this though. So we're going to use I am ready. this Kill. like this. Yes. Um, we are going to target the Ursine Spirit Walker, I believe, and we'll commit to that. Is this the space of fear? Yeah, I think that's a good way of doing things. The beast. Bow to no one. They do have Sejuani now, though, so we'll see. Um, I'll drop down the mountain sojourners. No slowing down. Easy for you to say. And we'll use the guiding touch to heal our nexus. And that will also give us a Poro. And we'll just pass for now. We'll keep this unit in the hand. We'll keep the extra spell mana. Ride onward. This is kind of tricky, I feel. Um, we'll be blocking like How that. Foolish. Yeah, I think that's the best way of us doing this. We take a little bit of damage. But since that tough, it's not as bad. I will not yield. We also get the level up from Kane. As I previously mentioned, we're not at full Nexus Health. We are going for Rost here. The child is gone. The killer remains. We're only what Noxus made us. Our spoils will rival the War Mothers. Hear that, Bristle? Varg offers a challenge. Um, it's still their attack turn. There really isn't anything else that we want to do here. So, we're just gonna... Unfortunately, bear witness to them dropping a bunch of units on the board. Alright, this is going to be a pretty tricky attack pattern. But we're gonna do what we can. Stay focused! To death I go. Noxus took everything! Bow before me! Yeah, we'll commit that. Everyone okay? I was always mortal! Tear them apart! Oh! Alright, that's not great. Fury. We didn't punch through Sejuani. Kane lives, but I don't need the man. I want the monster. <laughs> it approaches. Unfortunately, we were a little late for the weaponsmith. Um, we are going to use Dark and Help. Okay, why can't I? I don't understand why I can't use Tarosh here. Uh, I guess I just need ten mana straight up then. All right, well, that changes things. Um, I guess we'll just drop down the Weaponsmith Apprentice for this turn. Kindle, did you wander off and again? And the round there. Okay, so they use Shatter on Kane. Kane has Spell Shield, though, from my Banshee's Veil. Vale. Um... And I believe we pass. Hail, War Mother! Drive them still before pass. us, Ira. They do too, so that's good. Um, we didn't lose our unit like we were hoping. We are going to use Kane's Shadow Step to destroy Sejuani with his free attack. Fight like the animal you are! We are going to use Kane to have the same fight as before. Take I take that back. Mercy. Now Kane gets frostbitten. Which sucks. <laughs> Just a little farther. But I think we'll be okay here. We would 
children. Yeah, we'll commit the attack like Brace that. Yourselves. Is this the face of fear? Look at me. We trade units here. Go without and we do some damage. Oh. Pretty standard if you ask me. Um we are going to be using the Darken Halberd, and this time we're going to be dropping down to Rosh. And we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I will die! You also dropped down the Saga ready. Seeker because he was free. The strong will have the spoils! Um, we'll be using the Dark and Lodestone. Yeah. We'll be using the Dark and Lodestone in its normal form. To equip nice. Parosh. And we'll be using Furious Wielder here to get rid of the Tusk Rite Raider. They only have Sejuani in their hand. And yeah, it's their attack turn, so they can't really do all that much here. So we just kind of muscled them out, basically. Which is good for us. Don't get me wrong. Uh, we no longer have the Sojourners, so that sucks, but. Yeah, what can you do? Um, I'm not going to bother challenging. We've been here regardless. I'll strike them down. And we got through that weekly adventure with a level two zero star king. Everyone really does look better in red. Hopefully, this video has helped you. If it's been informative or entertaining in any way, shape, or form, feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. And follow us on Twitch, uh, we go by the same name as on here. And we have the link in the description as well. Alright, thank you all for watching. This is Bruce from Kraken Gypsies, signing out.